All right, guys, welcome again to another video. Here we are on episode one of Efficiency. Before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you've not already. Um, yeah, I know the map really, like just dropped uh, to, uh, uh, six six minutes ago. So, uh, not bad, not bad. But no, we're here. We're gonna start the map. I know. Return to the face cam. We'll see how long I do this for. It is hot in Florida. Uh, but no. We have it. It's here. It was on the marketplace for uh, four dollars, I think, or six hundred sixty uh, coins, whatever you call it. Um, you see, we're here, fishing sheep. So I'm gonna just change this to YT series. Um, difficulty can put it too hard. Um, simulation just eight chunks. Yeah. Show coordinates. Yes. Uh, we don't want sheets. Uh, multiplayer off, and I think that's it. Um, so yeah. I think if we just press create. It should load on up, and I think I do have my shaders actually. So we are here, we are in the map, and this is fun. So we started out. Um, for the best map experience, set the music and audio settings to zero. That's already done. We have a music disc there. Cool. Uh, book. What's this? Fish sheep's created by Darius Probs and other pixels. Love this. You're a sheepish. Wow. Wow, I'm a sheepish. I'm sheepish, Dan. Wow, oh, good to know, good to know. See, so, yeah, in here they have true show coordinates, false and true, so you can pick. Um, but yeah, no, episode one, I'm super excited. Um, if you guys don't know already, I always, always do a little series on dance maps like this. Um, but another guy doing a cool series, I believe, is Dibs. He's in Dan's Discord, a lot of cool stuff. Um, I think we're both literally recording, like, right now. So he should be doing a series on this too, so I'll have a link to his channel. Down description below, as well as Dan Ross Probs' channel. I'm giving credit credits due. I know Diz, he's always been, you know, playing, doing series just like me on Dan's map for a long time. And, you know, Dan is, you know, Dan, he's making the map, DRP. Um, so after that, why don't we just uh, begin? Unless I already remember from what, what you might call it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't think you did. I already remember from uh, Chicken Block. He, he might have hit something in the smoke or something. I don't know. No, let's first begin and see what happens. Fish and sheeps. Oh. The wind howled as the waves crashed at the creaking timbers of the ship. My hammock was shuddering with each single crash as the captain yelled like a madman from the deck. You won't stop me from the hunt of honeycomb. It takes more than the sea to break Captain Honeybridge. <laughs> Hit a rock instead of brine. The ship shattered. And my hammock threw me into cold rushing water that swept me out of a gaping hole from the ship. I woke up oh. by myself <laughs> on a strange shoreline, inhabited by mutated sheep that shimmered like prismarine or shone like gold. I'm going to have to investigate this place further. I can see some of my things have survived the crash. Time to rebuild and survive. Okay, I love this so much so far. Okay! Well, dang, Dan coming with the fancy cinematic. Oh my god, I love that. So, you're, you're, uh... You just told me how honey honeycomb takes more of the sea to break Captain Honeybridge. I... I don't even know the story, but you're a ship. You got shipwrecked, and now you're here, and you found, you know, sheep with uh, <laughs> gold, and you call Prismarine, and we're here. We're on an island, a big open sea, and I'm scared. I'm very scared. I don't like open waters, but no, we're here. There's a little book. Getting started. Okay, now, nah. this cartography table here as well. So we have that crafty table, scattered over there. Have our little tree. If we go here, oh, we got a signal flare. Oh, I love that. I love that. So we have some skewed signal flare. We have a spawned cobblestone sheep. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So what if what if you do a flare happens? That actually does look like a flare. Okay, love that. Love that. We're gonna put that back for now. The scoots, I don't know what to do with. I thought I had more than one. Okay. Um, no, let's why don't we uh well, no, that cinematic was great. That was amazing. I have, I honestly love that so much. But no, we're here. We are stranded. We're 
cup Captain Honeybridge or something. I don't, I didn't understood. My phone was ringing, and of course during the cinematic, the one part where I can't cut the audio. Audio. Wow, my phone was ringing. But oh, there's another barrel here as well. Uh, saplings and bone meal. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you, Dan. Okay, so I know you can like do a fancy like click thing. I don't know how to do it though. I don't know how to do this. I'm just gonna spam click all this. I don't know. It's like you like double click while holding your thing. I don't know. No, so we have some trees. We have oak. Okay, so we have our emergency grass block. Gotcha, Dan. Emergency grass block. In case we uh lose our grass, we need to grow seeds. Um, so yeah, well, I guess we just should start by reading the book. If um if you want to skip this part, um I'll just put the timestamp on the screen now about when I'll be done reading. But if you do want to know about the map, I recommend uh keep on watching. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. To whom it may read this, my name is Captain Bluebeard. I wanted to write down a few things in this book before I left this island. First of all, you're stranded here, but you're not alone. Pirates roam these waters as well as some unique sheep. Uh, these unique sheep are your key to surviving. They are material mutated sheep, which means you can gather resources from them, provided you use the correct tools. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, there are many things to discover in these waters, such as shipwrecks, ruins, and even buried treasure. Uh, I have left you five single fairs in the chest on this island. Use them to travel to the bark. The ba uh, ba uh, ark. The ba ark. I, 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 bag ark? I don't, I don't, okay. <laughs> Once you're up to, to, at the ba ark, go to the lectern and read the book for further information. I lost five unique sheep spawn eggs somewhere. If you find them, keep them. Okay. So there's more than just the one that I found in here. There's more than just this custom sheep, which I will look at in a second. Oh, say so those, cause there's barrels around here and there's a honeyed, it's a honey nest, whatever you want to call it. Okay. See, we have some fishing here. This, I guess is how we're going to get our uh, food. Um. Okay, okay. Let's not get pulled down. Cause we will die. Yep, drowning is a thing. I forget. Um, cool, cool. Anything over here? Just want to like, explore a little bit. Oh, it's so amazing. I love that. I love that. Oh, by the way, the shaders I'm using for this map is ESBE um, 2G. Um, if you want to check it out. Uh, I think it's on MCPDL. But anyways, that's uh, uh, I just want a cobblestone sheep. Cool. Cobblestone sheep collected. So is this like correct tools or something? I'm not sure. And Dan did say that there's more of them scattered around. I guess, you know, I'm tempted to just like YOLO it. <laughs> YOLO. And just go down to the bottom of the ocean to see what I can get. Because I'm really curious what's down here. Very curious. Oh, these uh, spots give you. Right? You can breathe in them. Yeah, so you just come down here and you can breathe. Okay, okay. Well, this mask is not helping me out. Those little spots we got scaffolding. We got the barrel here. Okay, you got spawn B. Okay, so this is our like B chest. Thanks, Dan. So yeah, we run out of water. Just come right back here. Oh, actually, could you not? Thank you, buddy. All right, dude, you're weak. Oh, I thought I thought you just died. Okay, just just okay. Get away. I don't want you. I don't. Could you please? <laughs> this terrible. My mask is falling off. Oh my god. Just out. Get up. Go. Go. I probably should have made a sword or something. Oh no. Oh now I gotta go all the way up. Why are you dying? Ah! Okay, we gotta really swim. Or? I oh, know we're fine, we're fine. You can go down here. Okay. Okay, cool. So there's that one barrel down. Oh my god, he has a trident. Oh my god. No, no. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bro, that squid is huge! Yo, what's up with that squid? <laughs> Dan! Oh my god, Dan. Dan, what is this? Dan, actually, what what in the world is this? I, I, why is there a giant squid on my screen? <laughs> oh my god, we... And, okay, you know what? I think I'm just not going to go down there anytime soon. Um, So now we got some cool resources here. Uh, Not bad. I wonder what else is down there. I really wonder what else is down there. Oh, and the squid is, the squid's dying. 
the squid just died. <laughs> okay, and he drops blaze powder and bone. Cool, is that a baby squid? No, he's just farther away. <laughs> baby squid. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Dan really wants us to use bees here. He's really pushing for it. He's really pushing for it, so... I'll try to get this bee nest. I'll spawn the bees so that they can help us out. All right. And that's a lot drown. Thank you. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I definitely haven't really played any maps that aren't like Skylock related. It's usually an upwind voice. So having this water on me is, uh, it's different. It's interesting. It's pretty cool. Very interesting. I'm still curious. I'm pretty sure I have to use shears, but I'm not sure. Do we just like go down? Like, what is underneath the seafloor? Like, are there mines down there? Is there, like, ores and all that? I'd, I'd assume yes, because, like, you kind of need that. But, you never know. Also, it starts like, some of a jungle tree. So, I'm curious if these drop jungle saplings. Because if we get a 4x4 four four, uh, jungle tree, we can get a lot of wood. And that'll be very, very useful. Oh, yeah, this drops saplings. So, yeah, we can, uh, we can get ourselves some big jungle trees. As long as you have oak, of course, you know. The OG wood. Alright. See, we've got two jungle saplings that look like. Not bad. I'm gonna work with uh, normal, actually. And we did start out with three cobblestone already. And we have this cup table over here, which I'm gonna pluck out real quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna make a stone axe. There you go. Also, wanna grab these barrels, because, you know, storage. That could be useful. <laughs> oh, I can't believe... Are you kidding me, Dan? It's already raining too? Oh my, Dan, I'm literally, I'm literally 12 minutes into the video and there's rain. You've got to be kidding me. I've probably been on this map for like 10 minutes. <laughs> what is up with that, Dan? Come on. Still, still the rain. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I kind of want to go back down there again one last time before I finish off this episode. Don't worry, I will have episode 2 out tomorrow. No, let's see what's down here. Let's see what else. Maybe we could kill that trident guy. I mean, I don't see anything, really. I mean... Oh, there's the trident guy. He's over there. Oh, and there's a trident guy. Okay. You know, I don't think there's anything else under here. But you know what? This is probably very dumb, but I'd love to grab this. Oh, you gotta be joking me. Okay, let's just um, not get killed. Hold shift and try not to die under the water. That seems good. Okay, there's no one near me. So let me just get that. Look. B equipment. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for the B equipment. Uh, I don't think there's anything else underneath here. Uh, we can always go out and explore again. I think that's all we can really get for right now. Yeah, I still want to figure out how to... Whatchamacallit, uh, get... Uh, I guess you gotta shear these sheep, I'm assuming. So it's kind of like that road to iron stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So no, we got tons of storage here now. We got literally three barrels. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I guess I could just lay them out uh, right here. Uh, not bad. And yeah, you know what? That's really not too shabby for a first episode. So yeah, no, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, I'm gonna try to figure out what to do. Try to go back or you know, not go back, but you know, dive more into the map. If you did enjoy again, please make sure you like and subscribe. As always, again, make sure to go check out uh Dandros Probs and Dips down in the links down below in the channel. My mask is falling so much. Gosh, I hate it. <laughs> um I yeah, know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.